Welcome to Wall Street Mojo. To know more about this video, count to function Excel. Watch the video till the end. And if you are new to this channel, then you can subscribe us by clicking the bell icon that's given below. Welcome everyone and today we have a topic with us is called the counter function. This is basically a statistical function in Excel and we'll try and get into the nitty gritty of the same to get much more insight about this topic. Now, before we start, we start working on the examples. Let's understand what's exactly is there in this particular topic. See, it is a built-in function. What is it? It is a built-in function uh, in MS Excel uh, and uh, you know the count if in excel is used to uh count if the numbers of the cells containing the numbers with a given range so it returns with the you know what we call as the integer number and uh, you know this is an advanced version of the counts so or built-in excel function which counts the numerical value it presents in a given range of a cells now how does this counting count if formula in excel work if you start writing is equal to count if you get range and criteria so the counting formula has two arguments out of which one is range and it is a required parameter because it represents the range of the values on which the criteria will be applied and it could be single values or the list of the values what about the criteria see it is another required parameter which represents the condition which will be applied on the value presented by the range that is mentioned as the first parameter and only the values that are satisfying the given character criteria will be returned because of that particular result so how to exactly use this counting count if formula function in the excel so the seed function is basically a, a worksheet function okay and as a worksheet function it can be entered as a part of the what we call as the formula in a, in a cell of a worksheet okay uh, we will start with example number one to have a good idea regarding how this uh, example how does this count if function exactly work the count if is says that the count values with the given name with the given values so as shown over here the count if function in excel it is applied to the range a2 to a7 and let me just write the formula here count if the range is uh, this a2 to a7 and the criteria is 33 let's write we get the answer as one so the condition here is 30 and the range contains only one such number that is 33 is one such number right so such number which satisfy the condition of being equal to 50 so hence the result returned by the count if is one and the same is seen in the result of a8 we'll take example number two so this was row valuing the value matching 33 the second is the value that is less than 50 so the count numbers with the value less than a given number so this is the counter function it is applied to the range a12 to a17 and the condition here is less than 50 so the value contains four such numbers which satisfies the condition of being less than 50 and hence the result returned by the count if is four and the same is seen in the result cell uh, you know a18 if you just write count if a12 to a17 and uh, comma say less than 50 close the bracket you will get answer is 4 so hence the result returned by the count of is 4 and the same is seen in a18 example number 3 rows with the value john so here as seen uh, you can start with is equal to count if the range is uh, a22 to a27 comma john you can just write john here it will say one so as shown in the above count formula in excel count if function is applied to the range of the value a22 to a27 and the condition is that is the text within the value john so the given range has only one cell and that satisfies the given criteria so the result is one and is mentioned in the result cell a28 we have we are going to take the next example that's example number four which is counted the negative numbers so we'll start with is equal to count okay count a function the range is this and uh, less than zero close the bracket we get three so as shown here above the count if formula in excel the count if function is applied to the range of the values a23 to a2037 the condition is greater than zero so meaning to find out the 
count and the numbers with the negative values which are negative other parameters and is hard coded with the values. So the result returned here is three and there are three such numbers in the given range of the values. So the same as seen in the result A38. Let's run down to the fifth example here. That is the count zero number. So as shown in the count formula in Excel, the counter function is applied. Uh, first, let me write the formula. Select this whole thing A42 to A47 comma zero two. So the counter function is applied to the range of the value A42 to A47 and the condition is equal to zero. So meaning to find out and the count the number with the values zero value. So the result return is two and there are two such number with the value zero. Right. And the same is seen in the result cell A48. Now what are the couple of things that you should remember in this particular regards? First, the non-numeric criteria must be enclosed with the double quotes. Okay. However, you know the number criteria need uh, need not be to be enclosed within the quotes. Second, only the values that are satisfying a given uh, criteria will be returned as uh, as a result. Third, the wildcard uh, characters you know such as like you know uh, uh, the multiplication sign and uh, it can be called as multiplication or a star and then uh, the question mark can be used in the criteria and the question mark uh, matches any of one character and the asterisk mark it's called asterisk or probably you say multiplication sign for excel say star so on and so forth uh, this asterisk matches any sequence of the characters if the wildcard characters are to be used uh, is the criteria then those needs to be processed uh, with the with the title operator as either question mark or the asterisk sign so uh if you have learned and enjoyed watching this video please like comment on this video and do not forget to subscribe this channel to our channel for all the latest updates. Thank you everyone for joining the session.